Made Fresh, 96.7 to beat Terry J and Jazzy T with you. Got special guests in the studio with us. Jazzy, who we got? We got Ro Timmy. Hey. hey, what's going on, Ro Timmy? How you doing? I'm blessed, man. Happy to be back in the South. Oh, yeah. so what were you before? Uh, everywhere. Oh, you've been everywhere. I mean, yeah, brother, everywhere. you doing it, man. Oh, man, just trying to just take advantage of the moment, man. That's what I'm talking about. I hear you love Atlanta. Is that true? I love Atlanta. It's so my what, favorite city. What do you love about Atlanta? The food, the women, the, food. the weather, the <laughs> prices, the the space, the back and forth that you can have without being bothered sometimes. Well, Timmy, you just said the women. Now, I just want to put this out there because I know that women will be listening. Are you single? Because I don't want no woman running up on you, busting your windows <laughs> out your car. <laughs> no, nah, not at all. I'm single, though. Okay. Uh, okay. A thousand percent. I'm sure as we speak, people are going to be, oh, what's his name again? What's his, what's his Instagram in the city? It's at real Timmy. <laughs> just, you know. All right, now, don't be a city boy out here. Oh, no. hey, city boy, I'm, chilling. I'm chilling. I'm chilling. But speaking of, uh, first and foremost, just welcome to the show. Thank uh, you. you got music out. Yeah. And, yeah. and talk to us about it. Uh-huh. And, and, and we're going to talk to you about the process. So what's the name of the song? So the song is called Love Rhythm. Um, and the project is called Walk With Me. Uh, and the way people have been reacting to it, man, is just a blessing because it's authentic to who I am. Like, I'm first generation Nigerian. So I did a record that's kind of Afro beat, but also still R&B. And so we mixed it up, and it kind of has a vibe of like an Akon, Craig David mixed with myself. Oh, that's crazy. Yeah, so Love Rhythm, like, you know, it's 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 moving, and, and the project just hit over like 20 million streams, you know, and it hasn't been out that long. So people are gravitating towards it, man, and, and, and the fact that it's happening during the summer is the perfect time for it. And go ahead, Jazzy. So Afrobeats has been making a crazy wave now yeah. mainstream. Yeah. So how do you feel about that, especially being mm-hmm. from... Nigeria. Well, being be Nigerian, how do yeah. you feel about that? Uh, I love it. You know, I knew that I, I, people don't know that I went on tour with Wizkid in 2011. That was the first time he had come to the States this way. And just to see that vibe and energy then, it was like, okay, this, this is about to be a wave. Mm-hmm. And for us to actually be from there and us to actually now be like at, at the forefront of it with the Davidos, myself, uh, Wiz, Afro B, you know, and, and so... It's a blessing, and, and, and it makes you want to put out as many more as possible. But my job in this whole thing is to be the bridge between Nigeria and America, for sure. Talk, when's the last time you've been back to Nigeria? Uh, the last time I was in college, so a couple of years ago. Okay. Yeah, but I haven't been back with this career as it is now, so it's going to be fun. But I'm definitely going back December this year. Oh, that's going to be dope. Time. Yeah. That's going to be dope, man. Yeah. I could only imagine a reaction, especially. Oh, you know, yeah. That's crazy. How do you find balance? Because, I mean, yeah. you're an actor yeah. and you're a musician. Yeah. And I, I would imagine both take an incredible amount of time, oh, energy. Yeah. So how do you find time? How do you balance? The and, both. like, talk to me. Uh, bro, It's I'm still trying to figure it out now, you know, because I'm a workaholic. So, like, I love the idea of work. And so... Usually if an artist is just an artist, he'll have he'll work and then he might have two days off and then this and this. After you film, you have three, four months off, you know, until you do the next thing. For me, I gotta do this, then I gotta go go do power press, then I gotta go do this, and then back to music, then power press. And so for me it was just like having those quiet moments to myself, waking up, meditating. I enjoy being around my team, so that's fun, you know, and just making sure that like my friends are around as much as possible because it can get really stressful and kinda lonely at times. Man. Yeah. And so, the speaking of power, yeah. it is coming up. So, how do you, because meeting you, yeah. you're like this cool, laid-back mm-hmm. R&B guy, <laughs> but on a show, you're a yeah. totally different person. So, how yeah. do you turn it on and off? Uh, I, I studied a lot of um, Robert De Niro. I studied a lot of Al Pacino. Uh, I never really took acting classes. So, mm-hmm. everything has been musically instinct, intuition, acting-wise, instinct, intuition. And... I love the idea of Dre because I grew up around a lot of Dre's. Mm -hmm. You know, I grew up around seeing it, so it wasn't that hard. Mm -hmm. But just to keep him so menacing but quiet, I had to study, like, the greats, you know, the great villains, you know. And and that was really really cool to to start doing. And I had a lot of help from Amari and, 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 uh, and Joe Shakura. But musically, who I am, that's why I made the music. That's why I made, like, a love rhythm and want more. I mean, yeah, and walk with me all about who I am as a person. Right. So it wasn't really trying anything. You know, yeah. power is somebody else's words. Right. But this is my words, you know? So let me ask you a question. Which which one was your foundation first, acting or music? So my foundation was power. I mean, okay. Acting. Right. But music came first. Okay. So music, I've been singing and playing the piano, violin since I was a kid, you know? So, like, I was always musically inclined, and I was in a group with Jay-Z's nephews, won the Apollo. Like, I did a lot of things 
musically. So music, up. you always uh, yeah, that was a goal. That was always a goal. Right. Mm -hmm. It was just that I was a struggling artist coming out of college. And you got to make it. And I was like, yo, I need some money. Mm -hmm. What are we gonna do? And I booked my first audition. So that's kind of what threw me into the acting world. It wasn't yeah. like, oh, I want to be an actor. Yeah. It was like, oh, bro, you got to get some bread. <laughs> so we, <laughs> we got to eat. We got to eat. eat. So <laughs> do a commercial. And it was like, it ended up being a major role on a TV show called Boss. And that's kind of what threw me into the acting world. So my question to you is, which is which to you would be a harder transition? Since, you know, you, you, you're you in both realms. Yeah. Going from a musician to a, and, and trying to do acting or trying mm. to go from acting into being a musician, uh, which is a harder role? Uh, Society-wise, I think acting into music, because when see, people see you play something else so many different times, they don't know who you really are. Mm -hmm. So music, they've they've made a connection to you. So now they're like, oh, he, oh, he can act. And yeah, he can go it. do yeah, other he's, things. He's talented. Right. <laughs> you know what I mean? So that's why we took our time to make sure that like, the music was undeniable that, okay, you've seen Dre, but then I'm going to still make you dance and you're going to hear my joint in the club because that's what we took our time to make. And undeniable music, from anyone is going to cut through anyway. And that's why I asked you the question, because yeah. while you've been doing music your whole career, I feel yeah. like most people, especially with the the blowing up of power and yeah. all that, people will know you from probably, your, you've seen them, yeah. I've seen this brother on the screen. Yeah. And then they go, he sing? Yeah. And so therefore, I I want to know, yeah. how was the reception? How was, yeah. how was the process of making sure that people can yeah. be able to separate the two? It put me in, and I mean this in the most humble way, but it put me in a level of like, yo, he's gifted, he's different, yeah. you know, because again, it's not many people that can do, known for acting and then trans translate into a musician. Like the last one probably was Jamie, like truly, you know, and then the last one before that was Sidney Poitier or Harry Belafonte, you mm -hmm. know what I mean? So like it's not that many, oh, and Tyrese. You know, so and that's a different generation. So yeah. now it's kind of me kind of being the one to kind of do it now. It's made people like really respect how talented I am. And and we take pride in that. And see, we were, we were also having that conversation. Jazzy and I were having that conversation today because it was trending on Twitter about uh, Jamie Foxx versus uh, Donald Glover. Okay. And I was like, Jamie Foxx's catalog right now. Yeah. You have to give it to Jamie. Yeah. But Donald Glover. Again, he did acting, yeah. but he like musical side. Yeah. He just blew up out of nowhere. Yeah, so yeah. now it's kind of the reverse thing where he's like, he did acting, but yeah. you know, it, but that's it's, the power of music. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like Donald Glover is different. You know what I mean? He's a different type. <laughs> he's of a different dude. Yeah, he's a different type of talent, man. So like again, but it's hip hop. It's more like if if you're, but he can sing. But he came out as uh, Childish, Childish, Childish Gambino. Gambino. Yep. So it's a little bit more digestible. Mm -hmm. But as an art R and B artist. To come off straight out that way, like it's different. It's different. That's a different type of hard to get over. Yeah, and, you know I the agree. fact that we're we're doing it, you know, is just a testament to the the talent and I guess in my team as well. So it, can we expect a tour from Walk with Me possibly? Oh, for sure. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna start with um, I'm gonna start with a show in Atlanta, August 26th at Masquerade. Oh, All right. So, so y'all, so we expecting you oh, coming yeah. back. Yeah. Be, yeah, we gotta absolutely. blow this thing up. We yeah, gotta we definitely gonna blow it up. But we're gonna do that. We're gonna start with um the 26th. So get your tickets at rotimimusic.com. I guarantee you it's, it's me doing a whole project. It's a it's live band. And then we're going to uh, start the tour like maybe like October, November. Okay. That's dope, man. Yeah. So uh, you really love Atlanta. You're going to kick it. Of course. Got That's you. What yeah, Got what I'm you. talking about, man. It's, man. it's a vibe. So for people who are going to want to look up uh, yeah. and buy tickets and, you know, yeah. look you up more and listen to the music, yeah. uh, drop your socials. Yeah. And and, hop, and spell it out so people could I got it. I got and you. spell it out and drop it for people so they can follow you. So you can follow me at Ro Timmy R O T I M I on Instagram and Twitter. And then if you want to get tickets to the show, it's rotimimusic dot com. R O T I M I music dot com is moving. The tickets are moving really really fast, so I think y'all should probably get them as as soon as possible. But it's at Masquerade. August 26th. And we That's can't let you go without premiering the song. Hey, Absolutely. You gotta play that baby, baby, yeah. Love Rhythm. It's your boy, Ro Timmy, man. Turn it up. That's what I'm talking about. It's 96.7 The Beat. You're listening to Made Fresh.